Next up is power and density altitude. Power and density altitude also work together uh, and they can be explained together. So, in order to lower VMC, you want less power. So, uh, pretty simple. So, Now, why is that? What does lowering power have to do with lowering VMC? Well, let's say that you've got your two airplanes. Got your aircraft here. And you've got your aircraft here. And they both had an engine failure at exactly the same time. Uh, it's the left engine. So we've got our left engine failed. You've got asymmetric turning tendency and the asymmetric turning tendency is being caused because you've got an engine over here that's working. So you've got a working engine with a working propeller and you've got a working engine and it's got a working propeller. Now this working engine is going to try to turn you to the left in this case because your left engine has failed you're going to be turned to the left. Now why is this? Well the reason is because you've got your center of gravity here's your center of gravity and you've got your engine and your engine is offset from your center of gravity that is to say the center of thrust is offset from the center of gravity where all the rotation happens so because of that you're going to get an asymmetric turning tendency towards the dead engine now we said a second ago that this is due to thrust so here's the thrust line of the working engine and here over here is the thrust line of the working engine again exactly identical now let's say that one engine is throttled up and one engine is throttled back if we throttle this engine up we're going to get more asymmetric turning tendency because you're going to have more force offset at the same arm from the center of gravity so here's what you wind up with you end up with the original turning tendency plus the extra turning tendency because of the increased power of the engine. Now, let's say that over here we actually reduce the power of the engine. The power of the engine has been reduced instead of increased. You're going to get, you're still going to get an asymmetric turning tendency, but the asymmetric turning tendency is going to be much, much smaller because you've reduced the power. If you can reduce the power all the way to idle, you'll eliminate asymmetric turning tendency completely. And so that is how power affects VMC. If you lower the power, you lower the ability of the engine to turn the aircraft, and so your VMC speed gets a lot lower. Now, what about density altitude? Well, as you know, density altitude affects a few things. It affects uh, number one, the wing, number two, the prop, number three, the engine. Notice that what it does not affect is number four, the rudder. Now that's technically a lie because the rudder is affected by changes in density altitude. It's an aerodynamic control surface and of course all aerodynamic control surfaces are affected by changes in altitude. But the amount that the rudder is affected is much much less than the amount that these three are affected. So as you increase in density altitude and the air gets thinner you've got less air moving over the wing, you've got less air hitting the prop, and you've got less air coming into the engine. However, you've got approximately the same amount of air flowing over the rudder, or rather I should say, you've got less air but the rudder remains effective. It remains effective for longer than the wing, the prop, and the engine do. So that being the case, what you wind up with is as you fly into thinner air, uh, let's say that this airplane over on the left flies into thicker air. If you fly into thicker air, your engine will become more powerful yet, which means that you'll get yet more asymmetric turning tendency. Over on this side, if you fly into thinner air, you're going to have yet fewer um, or less engine power, which is going to mean even less asymmetric turning tendency. 
because the engine is physically incapable, incapable of turning the airplane when it's got thinner air. However, the rudder remains almost equally capable of opposing the turning tendency. So because you've got the rudder, you're very likely to be able to oppose the turning tendency of the aircraft if the air is thinner. So let's write that one in. You want lower power, you also want oh, that didn't work. You also want thinner thinner air. And once again, notice that these two are almost exactly the same. If you lower power, you'll get a lower VMC. If you have thinner air, well, it's the same thing as saying you've got lower power because as the air gets thin, you do have lower power. So again, you lower VMC. And uh, again, this one is very simple.